Hey there Islanders and welcome to the new video dev diary. We've just released update 0.11 called Peak Performance. So let's see what it brings. We'll start with the most important feature of this update, the new renderer. You have been asking us to improve Island's performance and well, here's our answer. In scenes with lots of building blocks, the game now runs easily 10 times faster, but will experience performance gain even in newly generated maps. Exactly. It's not only about the frames per second. In single player, 0.11 runs much smoother. But don't worry about the multiplayer, it's coming up next. It's taken some time, but we're finally releasing a brand new combat system, and I'd like to welcome one of the programmers who actually made this possible, Ksenia Vondráškova. Hi. Hello. So, Ksenia, so far the combat has been pretty much only button meshing. Uh, so what makes the new combat any different? I think our new combat is much more fun than before. Now you have several type of attacks and you can actually defend yourself. Nice. Okay, so can you tell us something about those attacks? You have light attacks, which are very fast and effective when you chain them. Or you can have a heavy attack, which is slow but very powerful. Mm -hmm. And what about defense? When you see that someone is attacking you, you have a small time window when you can try to parry his attack or try to dodge. Okay, nice. So, what would you say was the most difficult part that you, have to, that you had to implement? I think for me it was proper hit detection. Sometimes it's very hard to realize which object should get damaged or which shouldn't. I see. All right, thanks for stopping by. It was a pleasure. You have been able to create amazing structures in the editor or even in the create mode, but basic building or object placing in the explorer was quite painful. That's why we changed the way how things are placed. Those who had problems building even the most basic structures should now be able to do it in no time. Yes, the blocks snap in much better way than before. The whole system feels much more intuitive and responsive. Well, we're pretty sure you'll like it. And now something for those who like to create or would like to learn how to. Starting with 0.11, game creators have the option to save the whole creation history. All the steps that they have taken to build their scene. It's optional, but if they do include it in the scene, the other players can easily go through the steps and see how something came to be. And they can decide to jump in directly at any step along the way and start editing the scene from there. We think that this will be a fantastic tool for the community. And now, for something completely different. Improved character faces. Exactly. For 0.11, we went back to the drawing board and decided it was time the faces of islands receive a facelift. While the graphical fidelity of the new models improved a lot, we made sure that they are still in line with the well-known and loved island style. So Alesh, is that all that 0.11 brings? Uh, hardly too much, hardly. Uh, user interface has been updated. We have a brand new notification system. As well as great number of improvements, fixes, tweaks. Uh, you can find all of them listed in the changelog link below this video. Thank you for watching, stay classy, and we'll see you at 0.12. Bye. Bye.